If you've been looking for an entry level toy haul or something under 24 feet, roughly 4,400 pounds dry, let me tell you, this Forest River Ozark 1900 TH is right in your wheelhouse. You ever sold Girl Scout cookies on the back of a toy hauler? Or used the convertible table that comes with some toy haulers to clean the fish that you catch because you pulled your toy hauler up to the lake and you just decided to cast off the back? Toy haulers offer so much versatility when it comes to everything you can do with RVs. From having something like a patio party deck like we have right here, you got the rough grip on this 90 by 75 door. It's a 1500 pound capacity party deck, 3000 pound ramp with the security netting that goes around. And you have the straps here. You not only that, you have the diamond plated rock guard giving you a beautiful rough look and appearance right here at the top with the Furion backup camera built in, those arch ceilings. You got 78 inch heights uh, on the inside of this one too, plus the rain nozzles, make sure to keep everything uh, off of you and off of, you know, if you do have a slide, off of there, but I am a fan of toy haulers in general. And this Forest River Ozark 1900 TH or THX is great for the entry level family that's looking for a toy hauler. You got the zippered fly net right here, giving you a little bit of safety away from the bugs and all the nastiness. Or if you say, Chris, we don't want it, you can actually take it down because it's just magnetic. Um, so you can have one side up, you can have both sides up, you can have no sides up. I like how you have the versatility and convenience there. Now, this one, you're looking at 125 inches from the gate to the wall right here. That's how much length you have. You got 66 inches from the wall to roughly right here. So not a huge garage space, um, but, 1500 pound tie downs uh, at each location. You got the herringbone pattern, slip resistant, easy to clean linoleum flooring. You could get a bike in here. Uh, you fold up the uh, double stowaway bunks, you know, and you got 66 inches of space going across. So toy haulers, obviously, if you're gonna bring toys with you, they are the way to go. But if you need additional space, additional hangout, additional sleeping room, toy haulers are so great because of the versatility. Take a look at the stow and go bunk system that we have over here on the campsite. I got the bench seat down right here with the plush back, which I'm a fan of how Forest River does with the Ozarks. It has the pattern on the inside, plus it's removable. So this is a 30 by 72 bunk right here that you know you just converts into a sofa by putting that on there. And it's funny because my kid who's 12 will actually take this and use it as a body pillow sometimes uh, when we do have these, which is rare because he takes it and uses it as a body pillow. Up top, you got the fold down bunk. I like this. Reminds me of camp. You got the teddy bear style series bunk mattress up here. You got the little window right there with the curtain. Plus you got your AC. <coughs> got your AC right here, which is a 13.5 BTU ducted AC with the quick cool dump. And trust me, the kids will have that going, especially if you're camping out in the summertime. You also got the inlaid uh, skylight right here, which gives you a lot of additional light in the back, not to mention your mushroom lights. But when it comes to toy haulers, just setting it up and enjoying the outdoors this is the largest panoramic window you're going to get in an RV, plain and simple. So whether you actually use it to haul toys or not, bam. Take a look at my beautiful fence with the barbed wire top around and the electric fence in front of it because nobody should be coming and touching me when I'm inside my RV. Now, over here on the off-camp side is where we have our kitchen. You got the pressed solid countertop over here. The undermounted stainless style sink, which is huge. Look how big this bad boy is. That is a pot and pan sink. High rise brush nickel faucet would like to see a sprayer nozzle, but I got a large window over here on the off camp side. Recessed three burner cooktop with the glass cover doubles as a backsplash, high output on the front. Plus you got the little LED light on there on this Furion control. And you got the 16 inch Furion oven there. There's my LP02 detector, my circuit box. And you got the graphite black decor on this one. I'm a fan of these because of how dark it's, it's graphite 
and it looks black, but it's really just a super dark gray. Check out the space that we have here. Solid shaker style cabinets. Pull out drawers there. Good storage space for pantry, pots, pans, uh, bike equipment, helmets, boots, you know, bags, whatever you're going to need. Got frosted glass inlay in my shaker style cabinets up top here. My Furion AM FM command center with USB HDMI, plus it's Bluetooth and dual zone. So I can play the music inside or out. And if I want to set up some entertainment, I got my TV backer right here, GFCI outlet, plus my cable connection set up there. And a lot of the RVs these days are coming pre-wired for Wi-Fi and 4G LTE extension uh, to boost those signals, just in case you want to stay connected and not to be outdone. Look at this little hideaway special that we have over here, Bobby. You got the little bottle opener. You got to have it. Plus you got a 110 power port right there. Just nice, man. For an entry level toy hauler, it's pretty good. 23 feet, five inches, roughly 4,400 pounds dry. You're looking at 7,000 pounds and some change uh, gross vehicle weight. But for the family trips, it's turtle friendly because there's no slide. <laughs> I mean, you can't beat it. It's eight feet wide total. You got the Everchill 12 volt fridge freezer combo right here. Got your controls right there to cut it off and on as well as set the coolness and the travel lock. I'm a fan of these because it does run off the battery, which means while you're going down the road, it'll run. But they're bigger because a lot of times we're used to those seven cubic foot uh, fridge freezer combos, the LP electrics. Uh, so they couldn't get them because of supply and demand. So now a lot of manufacturers are putting these in there. So you get to benefit from that. Got my little shower and toilet right here. High rise plastic bowl with the foot flush. Corner mounted vanity sink with storage underneath. Wow, somebody put some stuff in there. Mirrored medicine cabinet with the raised lips, uh, especially on the bottom, not so much on the top. Vent and fan right here. And my 36 inch herringbone patterned single surround shower with the sprayer nozzle right there. I got the skylight with the inlay here, which I need because being six foot two, you know, I am going a little bit above the bar right there. So having that there is a nice feature. Having two skylights is actually a really nice feature. I had mentioned the slip resistant, easy to clean linoleum flooring right here. You got the uh, R7 style insulation in here too, kind of like what you have in your home. You got that along the outsides. Got your air controls right here, your water pump, your water heater, control your lights, run out the awning, plus your command panel to check your battery, check your tank, see how everything's doing there. Then last but not least, you got your master suite over here with the queen size bed, 60 by 80 there. No mushroom light here, which is interesting to see. Uh, I know we got one there, but I'd like to see a reading light over here. I would definitely get like one of those uh, lights to put up there, but you got storage compartments up above. You got ward storage over here for how they designed this 1900 TH. I got to give forest river a tip of the hat for how they maximize the use of space and giving me options to store stuff. Plus I got me a little storage spot right over here and dual USB and 110 charging right there. And Bobby, let's lift up the mattress right here because yep we got us some storage underneath the master bed as well and there's my spare tire and all that good stuff so for an entry level rv entry level toy hauler where you just need to bring the toys with you or you're setting up a hunting or a fishing cabin somewhere and you just need bunk space you need to sleep four people maybe more if people are going to be combining bunks or you got kids uh Gotta tell you, this 1900TH is a good option to check out. We've seen the inside. What do you say we go take a look at the outside? So here we are on the outside of the beautiful 2021 Forest River Ozark 1900TH. You'll notice this one has that seamless Superflex roof going over the top, diamond plated rock guard, steel, one piece frame going underneath this RV2, giving you some additional support. You got the twin 20 pound LP tanks over here, and you'll see you got your battery disconnect located in a good little covered spot right there. I like how that's easier to access. Powered tongue jack with LED light. Having a powered tongue jack or powered anything on an entry level RV is really a nice feature because that means you're not working the elbow grease to get set up or to hook up. You will have to work the elbow grease when it comes to your stabilizer jacks though. 
So just a heads up, get that little drill going and set those up. You'll notice this is also huck bolted in a lot of areas and got the large outriggers and the underbelly that is enclosed. That's what's known as the accessibility. It's a paneled system underneath. So if you need to do some work under there or, you know, maybe check on something, you don't have to take the whole underbelly out and you just take off panel by panel. You got the 10 amp quick connect for your solar panels right here. So if you want to trickle charge your battery, you can. Sealed safety glass all the way around. 14 foot awning with the LED light strip. Solid step over steps leading into the main entry point here and the grab handle, which does double as a door guard. You got the marine grade external speakers right here and power. So if you want to plug in your cell phone, charge up some stuff, set up the boom box, you absolutely can. Double axled this one too, or tandem axled, if you will. Got the Dexter Easy Lube uh, axles on those, those steel rims with the nitro filled tires. Got my rear stabilizer jack right here. You notice we left the uh, gate down, but you'll see you got your securing handles right here for your garage door. I like to leave it set up as the party deck, to be honest, because it just makes life a little bit more fun. Plus, it extends the length of your RV and gives you more entertaining space. This is 23 feet, 5 inches, you know, but with that 90 by 75 door, you get a couple of extra feet in there. Over here, Bobby, here, I'm going to switch places with you so you can get down there and see. This is our low point drain right there. Got the external shower over here. Black tank flush, which is another nice feature inside of an entry level RV. City water connection. Got my 30 amp power plug right there. Fresh water connection. And down below that is our main terminations. Now on this one, you got a 54 gallon fresh water tank and dual 40s. 40 gallon for the gray, 40 gallon for the black. And you'll notice terminations, uh, the handles are color coded. Last but not least, other side of the pass through storage, which is locked. I wish they'd cover the hinges. That's another thing I wish they'd do because sometimes when if the weather and the elements get these to rust, you start getting those streaks. But the most important part of any RV is going to be this info panel. Now, this one's roughly 4,300 pounds dry, but the gross vehicle weight on this one, 7,775 pounds. Now, being a toy hauler, um, that's where you got to take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and Gander and say, hey, here's what I need to tow. Here's what I need to haul. Here's how many people I need to sleep. And here's where I'm going to go camping. Is this the right RV for me? Because when we take that information, uh, that's what really helps us find the RV that fits your lifestyle the best. And with so many to choose from, you, we want to make sure we get you in the thing that's right for you and your family. But at 23 feet, 5 inches long, a toy hauler with, you know, 66 inches wide of space over here, 125 inch long garage, 1500 pound tie downs with double bunk system, entry level. For a smaller toy hauler, this one's pretty sweet. But, see, somebody's hauling one off right now. Leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about this one, what you not like about it, because we love hearing from you. I'm Chris Young for Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope we get a chance to hear from you soon. Until then, please come check out an RV because they are fun. I'll see you soon.